Twins take DNA test. Doctor tells them to get a lawyer. Zoe and Mia Anderson, both eager and vibrant at 18, face the summer with a sense of adventure, choosing to delve into their heritage through a DNA test as they prepared for the transition to college. The air in their suburban Atlanta home was light and celebratory, filled with the laughter and anticipatory chatter of two young women on the brink of adulthood eager to uncover more about their roots. However, the atmosphere thickened with confusion and a creeping dread as the DNA results unspooled a reality neither they nor anyone in the room was prepared to confront. The documents, clinical and cold, claimed the impossible. Zoe and Mia, twins who had shared every milestone, every secret, were not biologically related. Silence swallowed the room as the weight of the words sunk in. Confusion led to hurt, a stinging betrayal by some unseen hand that seemed to have orchestrated a cruel joke. The twins turned to their parents, faces etched with questions. The shock mirrored on their parents' faces offered no comfort, only the confirmation that the ground beneath them had all indeed shifted. Words stumbled out, explanations attempted, and failed, as the reality that their parents were just as bewildered and helpless in the face of the revelation as they were. Driven by a desperate need for clarity, Zoe and Mia sought out their family doctor. His office, usually a place of reassurance, now felt stark, the diplomas on the wall bearing witness to the solemnity of their visit. As he reviewed the test results, his furrowed brow did little to shield his concern. His advice to consult a lawyer carried with it an undertone of seriousness that bordered on ominous, his vague warnings hinting at a dreadful mix-up at the hospital of their birth. This suggestion meant to guide only deepened the twins' sense of disorientation. As they left the doctor's office, the corridor seeming longer and more imposing than before, the gravity of their situation began to truly settle in their hearts. They grappled with a sense of betrayal and a raw need to unearth their true origins. The festive spirit of the summer, now a distant memory, replaced by an urgent quest for truth. Zoe and Mia Anderson, armed with a resolve that seemed to strengthen with each passing day, set out on a journey to unearth the truth behind their origins. Alongside their parents, who carried the weight of remorse and confusion in equal measure, they ventured into the bureaucratic labyrinth that held the keys to their past. Their first step was to enlist the expertise of a seasoned attorney known for navigating the murky waters of medical malpractice. His steady presence and methodical approach provided a semblance of order to the chaos that had upended their lives. As they delved into the hospital archives, searching for records from the day of their birth, the twins and their lawyer encountered other families ensnared by similar doubts. These encounters, each echoing the eerie suspicion of malpractice, wove a tapestry of shared fates and collective uncertainty. The hospital's corridors, once mere passageways, transformed into echo chambers of whispered fears and fractured stories. The investigation took a pivotal turn when it led them to Kayla and Tasha, another set of twins whose lives had been marked by the same hospital on the same fateful day. The DNA results for these twins, too, hinted at a disturbing mix-up. Meeting Kayla and Tasha, Zoe and Mia felt an immediate and profound connection, a bond forged not just by shared circumstance, but by an inexplicable familiarity that transcended their brief acquaintance. It was as if their souls recognized what their lives had not yet revealed. This revelation, though shocking, sparked a new kind of kinship among the four. They found themselves united not only by the quest for truth, but also by the sudden visibility of a shared narrative that none had anticipated but all needed to confront. Together, they navigated the emotional landscapes of their discovery, each step forward in the hospital's records bringing them closer to understanding the breadth and depth of the error that had intertwined their destinies. As they pieced together the fragmented records, the legal and emotional implications of their findings began to crystallize, setting the stage for a confrontation with a past that had unknowingly shaped each of their lives. In the quiet solemnity of their lawyer's office, Zoe and Mia Anderson took a decisive step towards uncovering the truth, 
signing the documents that would launch a lawsuit against the hospital responsible for a life-altering oversight. The twins, along with their attorney, sought not just answers but accountability for what they believed was gross negligence. The lawsuit, once filed, quickly captured the public's attention, turning their personal quest into a matter of public discourse. As news of the lawsuit spread, it resonated with other families who had harbored doubts and silent grievances against the same hospital. Encouraged by Zoe and Mia's courage, these families came forward, each story adding weight to the allegations of systemic errors. The media swarmed around this unfolding drama, casting the twins and their legal battle in the harsh yet revealing light of public scrutiny. This attention, while overwhelming, also garnered a swell of public support with communities rallying around the family, offering both moral and legal support resources. Amidst this external chaos, Zoe and Mia grappled with the internal turmoil of their shifting identities. The courtroom became a crucible for their emotions, each hearing peeling back layers of their understanding of family and self. The legal proceedings, punctuated by cold facts and sharp interrogations, deepened their introspective journeys. The resolution came on a stark, tension-filled day in court when the judge confirmed the hospital's fault, a systemic error that had indeed swapped twins at birth. This legal validation, while bringing a sense of vindication, also unraveled complex feelings for Zoe and Mia. The reality that the sisters they had grown up with were not their biological relatives was jarring, yet paradoxically, a deep-seated bond, unbroken by the revelations, held firm. In the aftermath, as they processed the verdict, Zoe and Mia discovered resilience in their redefined relationships. Their bond with Kayla and Tasha, forged in the fires of their shared ordeal, became a testament to the fact that family transcends biological ties— The twins learned that family is defined not by genetics, but by love, support, and the choices to connect and stay intertwined through life's unpredictable turns. Their legal triumph was commemorated, not in the sterile environment of a courtroom, but in the warm, embracing presence of their parents and their newfound sisters. Zoe and Mia, alongside Kayla and Tasha, celebrated not just a victory in court, but the birth of a new, expansive understanding of family. United not by blood, but by shared experience and mutual support, they embraced an unconventional family structure, strengthened by the trials they had endured together.